What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're trying Blast Lane from Minecraft Dungeons. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of page with the eyes. Now we're going to leave a gap in the center. Let's start on the top left. Draw a straight line going out towards the side. Let's line this up over on the right and draw that same length line. Now from the ends, draw two short lines coming down towards the bottom of the eyes. And then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now from the bottom of the eyes, let's step down and draw the top edge of the mouth. With a straight line going across. From the ends, draw two short lines coming down. And then we'll close off the bottom. Now I want to add two small squares along the bottom corners of the mouth. So starting on the left, going out down the side, come down the inside, and it will close off the bottom to create a square. Now you want to draw that same size square over on the bottom right side. Now I want to go back to the inside corner of the eyes and draw on the brow. I'm just going to curve this in and then up on the left and right side. Now from here we draw the front edge of the flames. Let's start from the inside corner on the left. Let's up, bend that in, go out, and then down. Let's round up the bottom, come in towards the eye, and then bend that back out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start from here, bend this up and across, curl this around. Now I'm just gonna bend this in towards the eye, Bend this out and down. Now we're going to draw the side of the head in behind the flames. From the outside the left eye, let's step out, draw a straight line going up or the right. And do the same thing going up towards the same height. And we'll close off the top with a straight line. Now we want to add some perspective to the head. From the top corners, angle the head going up and back towards the back of the head, and we'll close off the top with a straight line. Now from here we draw the outside of the flame going around the head. From the top left corner, let's step out, curve this around, and I'm just going to bend that in toward the bottom of the head to right about there. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Coming around, and then bending that in. Let's add a bump along the bottom of the head, come down, bend this up, and then out towards the right. And go back to the left side and work the flame over towards the right. So starting out here, round this out, and bend that in, curve around towards the bottom, bend this up, and then in. Let's swirl the inside, all the way around, going up on the right, and bring that across towards the left. Let's add another point. Coming around, and then down towards the side of the head. Curl this around, and then bend that in. I'm gonna make my way back down towards the right side of the head. Coming around, in, and then down. I'm gonna add some smaller flames around the head. Let's start on the outside on the left. Come in and back out. Close off the inside with a curve. Let's add another flame along the top left. Come in, round this out, and back in towards that bottom point. Let's add a small one on the top right. And we'll add one more on the side of the head. Now I remove down and draw on the side of the body. Let's start over on the left side, draw a straight line coming down, go over towards the right, draw the same length line, close off the bottom with a straight line. Now we're gonna draw two large arms coming down the side. Let's start from the top of the body, bend the arm going out, and bring that all the way down to right about there. Go to the right side and do the same thing, going out, 
and then down towards the same height. Let's go back to the top of the arm, draw a straight angle line going up and then out toward the side. And it'll draw the top bevel of the arms. It's going to angle this up and in behind the head. Let's add some flames along the bottom of the arms. Starting on the left side, bend this around, back in, go out, round at the bottom, and then go back up. And bend this back out toward the side. And do the same thing over on the right. Starting from the bottom, we curve this around and in. Now let's just bend that back out. Let's round at the bottom, and around, I want to bend that in, go out, and then down. Let's go back over toward the left side, around, and then bend that in. Let's continue that flame along the inside. Starting on the left, pull this in, and out. Just take this all the way around, and then down. Let's go back to the right side, coming around, in, then again, just tapering this down towards the bottom. Now on the left side, we're just going to close this off with a curve. Start from the outside, and down towards the bottom, and bend that back up on the inside. Let's go over towards the right. We're going to add one more point, coming around, and then up. And then from the inside, we're going to come down, round up the flame, and just pull that up on the outside. Now we're going to go back up to the top and close off the side of the arm. Starting from this point, we're going to follow that same curve, going out, and bend that down in behind the flame. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Now you want to draw the inside edge of the arms. From the top of the arm, let's step down, follow that same curve, coming down in behind the flame, and we'll line it up on the right side. Let's add that pixel effect across the arms. Start from the outside, and it's down and in, and down. Just work our way toward the inside of the arm. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Let's draw an angle line going up and in along the inside of the arms. Now I'm going to add some small rectangles working our way up towards the top. Starting on the left side, start with the bottom, go up the sides, close up the top. Let's add one on the side of the arm, coming in, and then one on the inside of the arm. Let's do the same thing on the right. Let's add a few small flames around the arms. Start from the outside, curve in and then up. Round up the inside and then bend that back down. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's move in and draw in the legs. From the bottom corners of the hips, let's step in, bend the legs going out and then down to right about there. Let's flatten off the bottom of the legs. Straight line coming in. And we'll follow that curve going up and in underneath the body. From the inside corner of the legs, draw a short angle line coming up and in. And we'll close off the inside face of the legs with that same curve going up underneath the body. Now we'll finish off by signing art and adding a splash of color, and that's pretty much it. There's our blast thing from Minecraft Dungeons. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.